Okay, so how these systems work is you uh, select a, a platform and it could be DALI or Midjourney, and you input words or sentences describing the, it, the output that you want to have. Uh, that's called a prompt. And so prompts uh, can say, oh, please, uh, you don't say please actually to Dali, but you can say, please draw me um, a painting uh, or a realistic uh, 3D picture. So I was playing with Runway ML's text to image generator, and I tried putting in three words, women, beauty, imperfection. And I got a pair. Why does women, beauty, imperfection come out as a pair? It seemed like a biased output to me, but maybe I was just not understanding the output. So that's how I started experimenting and looking deeper into those causes. There's really a lot of stereotypes in the visual outputs of these uh, systems. If I input the image of a, a black woman, she becomes white. If uh, you're part of a community that's less represented in, in AI, you're more likely to be seeing biased outputs. There's no images of uh, women in their 40s or 50s who are either 80 years old or 25 years old. And so for me, as a woman, when I use uh, text image generators, the outputs are likely not to represent what I'm trying to create. The second element that's extremely, extremely important is that I have real issues with using these systems now knowing that they've scraped the web, not asking for permission, not getting consent on the uses of those images. So in my ideal world, we would be able to have curated data sets by the interested communities to be more representative of how they see themselves and that it be consensual. At the same time, you can have an ethical data set, but if it's going into an AI system, an AI platform that is not giving back to the artists, uh, it'll never be an ethical data set.